Kingdom Time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a legacy special edition. Why? Not quite because of what you think. Now, this right here is a legacy Darth Vader Star Wars lightsaber. <laughs> Sweet. But it is also the birthday of somebody special. So, it is another chapter in the legacy of Kingdom Corn because it is my birthday. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I and I think of a greater way to be spending my birthday than out here with all my Kingdomers. I'm so glad that I made it another year. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate every like and every subscription. And on that note, if you like my channel, then you know what to do. <laughs> so, there it is. Wow. I have some really cool information about this. Besides the fact that that it happened to come on my birthday. One thing that was great to know is that when I ordered this off of the Disney store, it's so crazy that I went back to check it again and that junk was sold out. Yes, if you go on the Disney store right now, this thing is unlisted. So I happened to grab this thing right at the right moment. Woo! Now that's Kingdom, right? <laughs> now, let me get out of geek mode as much as I can so that we can finally get this thing on the box and take it to the kingdom. <laughs> this is my first Galaxy's Edge Saber. I do have a Force FX Saber, but this is my very first Galaxy's Edge, so I am very interested in knowing the difference. Now, you may notice that this is in a cardboard box packaging, but as you can like take a look, this isn't just any standard cardboard box. This one got some Jedi hieroglyphs there and, and all that stuff. <laughs> I see a Stormtrooper. Um, they got like a Millennium Falcon. Uh, what do we they got here? Um, oh, C-3PO? So apparently, this is a Jedi fancy cardboard box. Oh, it slides up. Now we huh? are getting in there. <laughs> All it right. The secondary cardboard box. No fancy markings or hieroglyphs. But you got that really cool symbol right there. Oh, yeah. Got a manual. I see me a display stand. Very much plastic. I have this belt clip. Apparently, I can carry my saber on my belt. They're really crazy giving me this. I will walk around all day with a lightsaber like I'm the real deal. Apparently this must be a piece to the stand. We'll get into that later. And some more stand pieces apparently. Now, let's get to the real. Oh, whoa, wow. <laughs> Here it is. Of course, it's strong with this one on the dark side. Here is the actual saber handle. This is kind of a crazy grip. I can't see this being really proficient as a weapon. Although it will be hard to fall out of your hands with such a thing. The material, this looks like rubber. Very nice quality to it. Yeah. This thing is tricked out with gadgets and gizmos. As you can see the little wires sticking out. Makes it look more Jedi authentic. Other than all those trinkets, there's really not a whole lot to it. And that's a very nice thing, very nice and minimalistic, like a Jedi should have it. But the quality is still there. Let me see, cause I'm about ready to attach this thing together. Step one, align keys on side of lower blade into corresponding grooves of hilt. Blade can only be inserted in one orientation. Oh, so that doesn't fit right. Okay guys, now I honestly have to take a little break if you take a good look at the manual, it looks so very basic and simple. Just a straight vertical line, right? But on the actual saber, if you look through, you can see there's like hexagonal shape thingy. And also looking at the blade, there is no octagonal, hexagonal shape, whatever. <laughs> there is no spot for a hexagon to fit through. So like what, huh? So after about like 20 minutes, 
and I decided to give up and got frustrated, I kind of put this on the ground and guess what happened? Guess I'm supposed to use the force to figure that one out, huh? Anyways, step two, push blade all the way down and rotate counterclockwise, counterclockwise 90 degrees to lock. Hilt will make sound to indicate a I didn't hear sound connection. Step three, blade will raise slightly and be locked in place. Push down and rotate clockwise 90 degrees to unlock. Cool. How do you turn this thing on? Well, I guess maybe first I'll put some batteries in here and then that way it'll help me tell how to turn it on, right? <laughs> on the bottom is the battery tray. Okay, that was easy. Oh, already loaded up. All right, yeah. Excellent. That could be good news and bad news. Because even with the batteries in there, I still couldn't figure out how to turn it on. Do y'all know how do Jedi's turn their sabers on? Because I'm here lost. This looks like a screw, but doesn't actually turn. You'll hurt yourself trying to get these things to turn. That definitely looks like a power button, but it doesn't press. Another fake out. Um, I'm sure these wires do nothing. Now, how are the instructions just not going to explain how does a Jedi turn on his weapon? Oh, you know what? All this time, I thought this was some type of Jedi code that I wouldn't be able to understand. But if you look closely, it actually says on, up, off, down. Dang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Neat. Ooh, sounds cool. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now before I go have all the fun, let's right quick put this stand together, alright? That was a little rough, but I got it on there. Um now alright. It takes me a while, but eventually I do actually get it. And there is your stand. It has a weird weight distribution, but uh, like I said, I'm no Jedi, so I don't know how it's supposed to work. It's cool. It turns up at the wrong time sometimes. You can see it has a really cool flashing effects. Whenever you hit something, it lights up yellow. The sound seems a little bit kind of, I don't know if it's just me. Ah, that button coming off. Your powers are weak, old man. Obi-Wan has taught you well. Ooh, I'm tired. 
So here we have the Count Dooku Force FX Saber. And this, of course, the Legacy Darth Vader. Now looking at them side by side, if you're going for like flash, the glitz and the glamour. I mean, you take a pick. <laughs> this Dooku right here is bling blinging. This is more of an old school. It looks kind of dull. It looks more pieced together by like a, a, a master carpenter, something like that. You know, just some regular guy. This looks more like it was pieced together inside the Emperor Fortress. Like a bunch of specialized slaves. <laughs> as far as activating them, this activates with the switch right here by pushing it up. There are those sounds. Hear that murmur. And... Wow, you hear that difference? This one is lighter weight, way easier to wield. If I had some type of female friend, <laughs> uh, and she wanted to use one of my sabers, this would be the saber that I give her. I could do this all day. For this, I would say, you got to hold it in the right place or else you will keep hitting this button and the lightsaber will turn off big battle. Not a great thing. <laughs> I don't like holding it by the grip because the grip is just huge. Like, you gotta have some big hands to hold it like that. I would not make a great Ahsoka. <laughs> that was cool, that was fun. This thing is really cool and nice to have. Like I said, if you had to choose between like this one or another one, this one is kind of like heavy duty. I have a hard time wielding it. Just, I don't know if it's just the weight distribution or if it's just heavy all around. So actually, this wasn't quite a review as much as just me playing with the toy on camera. <laughs> because it's my birthday. So for that matter, I don't have too much to say about it, but that is the Darth Vader Legacy Saber. It's pretty cool to me. This is my cool birthday gift and I will be rocking it. So even though my little studio is kind of falling apart, eventually everything will always work out and be all right. And I'll tell you why, because anything is possible if you believe. You know, <laughs> that's right, you got it. <laughs> so all my kingdomers out there, you guys stay good, stay blessed. This is Kingdom Corn, and I'm gonna see you guys next time, right? We are out of here. Peace and love, yeah.